Hi, this is Danny Joe Lewis, also known as Enzyme Black, and I'm a course developer and tutor here at Point Blank Online. Now, in Clubland, you may have heard some very interesting pitched vocal effects occurring in quite a few tunes. So we're talking about stuff that goes very high pitch, very low pitch, real kind of twisted out kind of vibe. So I've got an Ableton effects rack that I've built for you guys, and you can download this from the blog. And what you can do with it is you can make the vocals sound really futuristic or weird. So this video is all about actually using Using that and I'm going to take you behind the scenes on how it was built as well so what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a performance vibe you can do it on the machine and you can get to see it actually in context first and you're going to get the behind the scenes look afterwards so Ableton Live is set up ready to record into the Arrange. I've got the machine as a MIDI controller. Don't feel you need to have a machine. Any MIDI controller with rotary controls and buttons is gonna be fine. I've got these set up with custom MIDI mapping to work with my audio effects rack. So I'm gonna do a performance on the fly first and then what I'll do afterwards is I'll take you through the parameters and the chains so you can see the effects and what's happening with them. So I've got Ableton Live's Arrange Window open. You can see some of the automation that was recorded in here. So the majority of the stuff that I was doing was based on my custom effects rack. This has got three macro controls that are mapped to the effects contained within. So firstly, we have the EQ. This is just a mixing thing, just to roll off the bass and brighten up the vocal. The compressor is to balance the level of the vocal. Chorus, just to add a bit of stereo width. And now the auto filter is mapped. So you can see here, if I right click, this is mapped to the first macro on my custom effects rack. The grain delay pitch is mapped to the second one. And then frequency shifter is fine on here mapped to the third macro. That was creating the really interesting vocal twisting. So let me just show you here again. I'm gonna just delete here. Basically take this as if we're starting again with the vocal soloed. So, filter, low pass filter. I'm going to take it back onto the vocal chain so you can see this. There's a filter. Now, with that open, let's have a look at the grain delay. Higher in pitch, 12 semitones. Minus 12. So also the frequency shifter, the fine control, as a kind of robotic texture to the voice, and that combined with the other pitch. So that's what I was doing in the breakdown sections. Now the other thing to create the intensity was the fact that I was automating the actual effects sense. So if you have a look over here, I've got rotary controls to feed into a reverb, and that's on channel A. And then I've got a delay over here. And the reverb had a massive long tail, so decay time is 60 seconds. So then what I did was I actually assigned these two buttons to be on and off of 
the actual effects returns. So sometimes it would be a wash of effects texture and then you'd see it go dead and it would sound really nice. So this is just showing you the internals of that particular rack. It's a great rack for twisting up vocals and performing stuff on the fly. So you can download it and put it into live and have an experiment for yourselves. So you can just see here how the whole concept of you know performing stuff is a really nice way to do it. Of course it wasn't perfect, but that's a great thing about going back into that arrange window and tidying stuff up at the very end. So if you're interested in building your own custom effects racks, check out our course, the Ableton Live Sound Design course. So this is designed as a follow-on from the first Ableton Live course. And this goes through lots of demonstrations of building effects and also building some custom instruments for yourselves as well. Make sure also to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash pointblankonline. And if you're interested in any other courses, check out pointblankonline.net.